My name is Cody Pope. Daisy Salazar. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Kathleen Thompson. <laughs> Sylvia Maria. Merlin. Bill. Brandon. Danny. Renee Reigns. Jose Ramon. Nichols. Pope. This Franklin Enriquez. Basically, I did this because Bernie Sanders' message is really important. I believe in what he stands for. I believe in fighting for the middle class. He's addressing many of the serious issues that a lot of other candidates are not paying attention to. Like he said, enough is enough. We have a lot of income inequality. Because he acknowledges the problems and proposes solutions. Out of all the candidates, he's one of the candidates that is actually being able to say and state the problem and be able to give solutions. Additionally, he is one of the few candidates that's actually standing up for you know income inequality. He doesn't receive money from big donors like typical candidates. Since I'm a college student, I think that no, really the really good thing for me the family, would be the free tuition. Right. Bernie Sanders makes sense. He understands what the country needs. Money in politics is what is destroying the country. And this is the candidate that is not receiving any money from millionaire, billionaire donors, big corporate donors. This is a candidate that is receiving all his support and all his finances from the grassroots. For the first time, I feel like I found somebody who both I agree with and think makes sense, but also that seems to not have that aspect of corruption they're raising, make, creating a grassroots movement. He fights for everything I worry about. Free college, and he's not being supported by billionaires. He's fighting for the little guy and veterans' rights, and he's also looking for the education of our kids. We should always have that moral code of helping people, so I believe Bernie Sanders, who supports the people, is the only candidate who does that. He's got a great idea, such as a free college education. It's embarrassing that places like Cuba and the Soviet Union have free college education, and we are supposed to be the world leaders, and it's reachable for young kids to buy an education nowadays. Well. This is the politician that will stand up and support universal health care. I have a disabled son. I can't even afford to get him properly diagnosed. Um, and this is something I truly deeply believe. The more people learn about his, his life and his personal story, that he marched with Martin Luther King in 1963 in Washington, I think that they're just going to love him and they'll want to vote for him. He can relate to the middle class more than any of the other candidates because he he comes from the middle class. His father was an immigrant from Holland. His mother was born in New York. He grew up in the middle class, if not below it. Oh man, there was a lot of excitement. Everybody seemed really excited to be here. Everybody seemed really excited about his message. And I think we're going to get a lot of volunteers. We're going to get an army of people that are going to go out and knock on doors, make phone calls, and really work to change the world.